child, you know, I grew up in, in uh, Bolt Heights. But if you grew up poor and you, and you grew up uh, with the have-nots, I'm gonna get kind of philosophical here, but you can look at the, you know, the glass half full, half, half empty. I always looked at everything uh, half full. And no matter what happened to us, uh, I would make fun of, I would make fun of us uh, um, um, my neighborhood and, and make fun of how things were and I think that's how you survive that's how we survived even when I was a kid I got thrown out of church uh, you know because uh, I was talking about I think God showing up and I, I made a joke in, in Bible class like is he on the roof because we don't have good roof in this church and boom they kicked me out what got me into comedy was I was going to be a cop. I was going to be LAPD. I had an academy date. I was going to go to the academy, but I got a DUI celebrating my academy date. So I became a comedian. The, the counselor says, why don't you guys tell each other how you feel about each other? I said, that's how we got here, bro. <laughs> my office is a little coffee shop in Silver Lake. Well, actually, the perks that I have is that I have a full-time chef. I have waitresses, actually. And it's been my little corner for like 10 years. And uh, this is my laptop right here. All my material comes from the experiences that I have with friends, with family, with my sons, with my wife. I have three boys. I have a 17, soon to be 15, and seven. Man. They love baseball. They're really good. They're actually, I had them fighting up until last year, man. Because I talk a lot of trash, so I was breeding bodyguards. That's oops over there. He was never meant to be. Look, man, this is my second one hour special. And I get to speak my mind, and they're not gonna edit me, and I can say whatever I wanna say. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. Nice crowd. Hey, I dig this, I dig the vibe. I like, I, you know what? Because I work all over the country, and sometimes I'll see an audience, and, and, and they'll go to a comedy club, and they're just pissed, man. They're like, like, like make me laugh. Hope he makes me laugh, you know what I mean? It's like, I mean, that's like being gay and going to a titty bar, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, why do that? You know, because life's too short, you know? I don't know. I don't know. To me, today, people take care of themselves too much, man. There's people in their 80s that, that go jogging, they eat right, they don't eat meat, you know? Things. I'm like, why? You're 80, man. You made it. You know what I mean? You're 80 years old, man. Do some heroin. Fuck it, man. <laughs> you know, right? You know, have you ever seen an 80-year-old guy in shape and an 80-year-old guy that's not in shape? Huh? They both look like shit. And people want to live forever now. People don't want to die, right? There's, there's people that, if, you, if you're healthy, you eat right, you can live to be 100. Man, you know what? Fuck 100, man. You know, I want to be like 80, 85. Peace out, you know what I mean? You know, I want to die grandpa old. I don't want to be creepy old, you know? Right, have you ever seen a five-year-old when he sees his great-great-grandparent, huh? Huh? They freak out, man. They're like, oh, shit. And they're melting. You know, and honestly, I, I don't understand. There's a guy who tries to make uh, being 100 cool every day, all right? This guy, this guy's name's Willard Scott. Every day, he's, he has somebody else. Today, we have Anne-Marie from Iowa. You know, she's 100, you know. Happy birthday from Smuckers, right? And, right? and they always show her, right? We have Anne-Marie, you know, and you can see her, and she's like barely alive, right? Like, oh, right. She's a tiger, this one, you know. Her hobbies are breathing. I don't know, man, if I live to be 100, I, I like accidentally, you know, if I by accident live to be 100, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rob a bank, man. <laughs> you know? That's gonna be my present to me. I'm gonna be like, give me your money, motherfucker. <laughs> you, know? you don't think I'm crazy? I'm wearing diapers, you fuck. <laughs> the cops show up, you know, did you rob a bank? Fuck, I don't remember, fuck, I'm 100. <laughs> what are you gonna do, put me away for a long time? Fuck. <laughs> You know, I, you know where I dig the elderly? Because a, a lot of times the elderly, are, they're a pain in the ass because they're always grouchy, right? You know where I like them? In Vegas, man. Like, you ever seen elderly in Vegas? They walk around, right? They're, they, they got a cigarette in one hand, right? Beer in the other, right? They're, right? they're dragging an oxygen tank, right? <laughs> right? You know, death is behind them. Come on, it's over, right? Like, <laughs> like, fuck you, I got three days, bitch, you know? <laughs> 
That's the way I want to go out, man. When I'm an old fucker like that, I want to fucking get a heart attack in Vegas, man. Eat a big old fucking steak. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, by the way, I, I love Vegas, man. I love, that's one thing. I, I'm not a, a poker guy because I don't have a poker face. You know what I mean? I, like, I get a good hand, I'm like, fucking yeah! You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I like blackjack, man. I like blackjack because if I'm going to lose, I want to lose now. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I think about? You know what I like about Vegas? You know, it's funny because Vegas, you know, there's no clocks anywhere, man. There's no, no, and no light gets in or out. Like, you're, you're, you're at a bar in Vegas, man. You know what I mean? You, you could be in there forever. You don't even fucking know it. <laughs> I was at a bar. I met three shifts of bartenders, man. I still always say, I hate that bouncer, right? I hate that bouncer that, you know, like when you go to your bar in your town, you know, whatever city you're from, and there's always that big buff bouncer that goes, all right, man, you know, sit, you can party, but you can't party here, right? But in Vegas, that never happens, man, right? There's no bouncer. Nobody ever comes and tells you, that's it, you know? <laughs> I was at a bar, I was fucked up, man. <laughs> I was looking for that bouncer. Where are you, bro? <laughs> And that's when I realized I needed to be monitored. Come on, bro. <laughs> you know, the bartender's like, hey, you want another one? What the fuck's wrong with you, man? <laughs> I was walking along the strip in Vegas, fucking loaded, man. Fucking crackheads were yelling out, hey, man, get your shit together. <laughs> I like to gamble, you know, I, I like blackjack. You know what's wrong? When I gamble, I start talking to God, man. <laughs> and I know it's wrong, right? Because I got a beer in one hand and cards in the other, and I'm like, oh, Lord, please help me. <laughs> Lord, please, if you can find it in your heart to give me a 10. <laughs> I'll quit, Lord. I don't even want to win. I just want my money back. <laughs> Lord, if you just give me my money back, I'll get out of here. <laughs> Right, the dealer goes, bam, 10. I'm like, whoa, this is a sign, huh? <laughs> you want me to keep going? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know, it's funny. I, when it comes to religion, right, people get all touchy with religion. That's one thing around the country, man, around the world, people get all touchy about their religion because whatever religion you are, whatever, whoever your spiritual leader is, I mean, that's the one that's going to take you, you know, to the next place, you know, and everybody has their own, right? right? Everybody, yeah, no Catholics, we're going. No Christians, we're going, you know, Buddhists, right? Everybody thinks they're going, their, their spiritual leader is going to take them, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know who, who's going to show up. Fuck it, man. I like them all. <laughs> Fuck. You know, I, I, I don't know. My money's on the Jehovah Witness, man. I'll I tell you what, because they, they fucking care, man. They, you know, they go to door to door, man. Right? That's one thing you'll never see is Catholics recruiting door to door, right? Imagine Catholics recruiting door to door. Hey, what's up? Want to be a Catholic or what? <laughs> no? All right, fuck it. Don't worry about it. Let's do more houses and I'm done! <laughs> if you get down to everybody's religion, like to the bare essence, the core of everybody's religion, everybody's religion has one simple message, right? Be a better person, don't be greedy, don't be jealous, right? Basically, don't be a dick. <laughs> Right? That's, that's the core of everybody's religion. I think that's how short sermons should be on Sundays, you know? Like, welcome everybody, don't be a dick. <laughs> See you next week, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Leave some money, don't be a dick. <laughs> right? And everybody's, everybody's religion has a different flavor, man. If, if you go to a Catholic church, you better go awake, all right? You better not go sleepy to a Catholic church, man. Right, because you, you walk in, and you know, Padre Neto, Spiritu Santi, uh, but you, what you're really hearing is, go ahead, take a nap. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Go ahead, close your eyes. No one's gonna notice. <laughs> you know, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna stay awake, go to a Black Baptist Church. All right, 
right? They, they, they will keep you awake, man. And something about a, a Baptist church, you always think like they're talking about you, right? Because they're like, somebody in here <laughs> has the death up. Right? And they got the crew in the back, right? They got the singers. He said, the devil. <laughs> Somebody in here is feeling get that. He said, get that. <laughs> and it's funny, right? in a Baptist church, if, you're, if it's like your first day, if you're a visitor, if you just want to visit, you have to participate. I, I just got forewarn you right now. You have to, you, they'll say, well, is there anybody in here that's their first day? Right? And I was like trying to keep it low. My friend, you know, was like, go on, man. He's talking to you. Boom. I was like, oh, man. Well, come on down <laughs> and get the Holy Ghost. <laughs> right? And I was like, oh, come on, bro. I just want to kick it. No, go on, man. Go on. And the way it works is you go down, you walk down, and then uh, it was like eight of us. And then they start, like, they start you know, praying for you. And then when you get the Holy Ghost, you get up and you go back and sit down. So I'm like, I was peeking left and right. And little by little, everybody's leaving, right? Because everybody's uh, starting to get the Holy Ghost. They're like, ah, what the, what the, what the, what the? <laughs> And I was trying to kickstart the Holy Ghost. I was like, come on, man. I could tell I was pissing off the preacher, man, because he started like crushing my skull. I'm like, hey, motherfucker. I just said, hey, waka, 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 waka. Nobody knows when your higher power is going to show up, man. You know, I mean, no, no, nobody knows. I, I just hope when the higher power does show up, anybody, right? Because that's the one commonality with all religions that one day a higher power is going to show up and take away all the good people and fuck you all the bad people. <laughs> right? And, and, and the good people are gonna float in the air, right? And they're gonna be looking at all the bad people going, you fucked up, you know? <laughs> I just hope when that higher power shows up, it's like on a, on a Tuesday, you know what I mean? And I'm playing baseball with my kids, you know? And, and then it's God, I'm like, gather around me, children. You know? <laughs> Hold my hand. Don't let go, no matter what he says. <laughs> Remember, I, I, I'm your father, man. Come on. <laughs> I hope he doesn't show up on a Saturday night, man. You know what I mean? Where I'm all fucked up, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm at a titty bar, you know what I mean? <laughs> right? The bouncer comes running in. God's outside. I'm like, oh, oh fuck. You serious? <laughs> Get off me, star. <laughs> I have to run outside. How you doing, God? Um, I was in there trying to save those bitches. You know, I gave them money and everything. <laughs> Start floating away like this. Yeah. Bouncer yells out, he was getting a lap dance. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 